Hey everybody, this is Mr. Howard with this week's Hornet Tech Tip. Um, this week's tip is going to be about YouTube. It's actually going to be several tips, so definitely want to check this one out. So how many of you use YouTube and when you want to share and embed a video for students, at the end you get the worst possible pictures. It's got some girl in a swimsuit and it's got like a guy, you know, blood squirting everywhere. Like we don't want those kind of things to show when our students are using YouTube. So what we're going to do is we're going to check our share options. A lot of people don't even know that this exists. Let's say I found a really great video here. I want to share it. So I'm going to click share and then I'm going to go to where it says embed and then in several clicks here I want to click down here where it says show more. And this is going to preview what the video is going to look like. I always have this unchecked but for you it will be checked by default where it says show suggested videos when video finishes. If you uncheck that Whenever you share that video, it will not have at the end of the video all of those random, sometimes unassociated videos that can be inappropriate or weird or strange uh, for your students. So use that if you're going to embed and share your videos with kids. Our next tip is going to be using search filters. So let's say I want to find a cool video but I don't just want to use the first ones I want to filter this down so I can find one that's more suiting to my needs if you click filters here you have all of these options so you can pick ones that by the de the time they were uploaded by ha like where that video is if it's just a video or if you want to search for a channel or if you want a playlist um, I use this one a lot for duration because whenever I'm using something in class I probably don't want things that are like 20 minutes although we'll have another tip that will help that in a minute you can search by usage rights or quality or relevance, um, the amount of views or rating. So if you want stuff that you know is good that other people can uh, basically vouch for. So whenever you want to search for this, um, you know, if I click long here, I'm going to get basically these entire albums. So based on what you want to search for, using the filters can give you a lot um, more closer picture of maybe what it is that you actually want to find. Another thing that happens on YouTube is sometimes you want to link to a video, but there's a big chunk of the video that you actually don't want anything to do with. You want your students to jump right to a certain part, and so what you end up doing is you kind of start scrubbing through this video to try to find the right spot, and you just maybe takes too long to get there. You can actually send a link that goes directly to a segment of a video. And you'll do that by finding the segment you want. So we're going to pause the video there. Um, I'm going to actually, what I want to do is I want to skip all this synth pop trash that's of the song. And I want to scoot to the solo. All right, so there's Eddie playing the solo. That's what I want. So I'm going to go to about 215. And then I'm going to come down here and click share. And now you see. There's a button down here that says start at. So this says start at 215. I'm going to click that. And now I have this link. So I'm going to copy this link. And whenever I give that to a student, their video will start at that moment. So then I don't have to scrub or anything. And you'll have exactly what you're looking for with one click instead of a thousand clicks trying to find the right spot. Our final tip is going to be about a hidden tool that not a lot of people know about, especially um, if you are a creator that makes videos and, need, and would like to have free digital resources. There's a really cool um, thing that YouTube provides called the YouTube Audio Library. And if you just go to youtube.com slash audio library, that'll take you to this website. And these are all free music tracks that you can use however you want and there's like thousands of these on here so you'll there's a good chance you'll find something you want there's also sound effects and um, I won't really get too deep into that but with any of these you can come through and you can preview the track <laughs> And if I like it, I can actually click over here where it says download, and this will actually download onto my computer. So I can use it in iMovie, or I can use it in any other video editor, Wii Video. I can upload it to my Stupaflix account. I can use it however I want. So those are just royalty-free and 
basically open source use for any of your own video projects that you'd like to work on. And then, of course, you can always upload them back to YouTube, but you don't necessarily have to. They're, those are um, royalty free tracks you can use kind of however you want. All right, so that's this week's tech tip. Um, YouTube tips. Let me know if you have any questions about using it. And once again, thanks for watching.